from PayPal. He's the chairman of those uh, Tesla Motors. Uh, is this the one where he did commercial travel to the moon or something? He, well, yeah, no, space. he's going to. He's going to. Um, he's actually that that capsule right here. Here's the Dragon capsule that they took up to the International Space Station, where they sent up there, and it's the first commercial flight to take uh, take supplies up to the space station. So, and they've got a uh, they've got a flight agenda that's probably 15 flights a year all the way through 2017 already booked. Wow. They're putting up satellites for people. They're doing a lot with NASA. They're, uh, he's trying to get to Mars himself uh, within 10 years. So, and he's going to do it too. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, he's the chairman of Solar City. That puts the solar panels on. They put the solar panels on to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you're familiar with him. Yeah. He's, uh, He'll probably be buying. Yeah, he's got his hands hands in a lot, and so that's another play on words. Dear Elon, I heard you're moving. You know, with PayPal, he's moving money. With SpaceX, he's moving moving uh, supplies and people. And uh, Tesla, he's moving. You know, the cars are mm. awesome. I don't know if you've seen them, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah they're really they're incredible. Cars. And uh, he's got a lot going on. And next month, he's going to introduce the. Uh, uh, idea, an idea he's had for a hyperloop between San Francisco and LA, hmm. and it's uh, it's going to be um, at least ten times faster than an airplane, and you just walk up, you get on it, and you're you're gone, wow. you're gone there. So it's a uh, travels in the air though, huh? Is it a? Is it no, a, he hasn't. He's 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 letting the cat out of the bag oh, next month, gone. but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tube. A vacuum tube, and you'll be able to sit in something, and it'll suck you right into the tube, and it's very safe because the the pressure between, if he does it that way, will push the cars in front of him. The pressure in the tube, and they'll never run into each other, never be an accident. It, so it's going to be very safe. And uh, but um, San Francisco to L.A. in two hours, probably. So. He definitely thinks outside the box. Huh? Yeah, he's. Unbelievable what he's got going on. He's got a lot of things going on. Um, again, you'll see the crown and the loftiness of taking off. And of course, if he goes, if he goes up to Mars or whatever, he's got to come back. So. <laughs> yeah. he's got to and then I kind of highlighted the E because of the, you know he's an electrical engineer. He's the head engineer for and designer for uh, SpaceX. Also, doesn't just own the company. So their capsule is a dragon, so incorporated into the crown, I kind of like put a, let, like the back of the oh, dragon with the so scales yeah, all the way down cool. to, to loot you back around so it's balanced and, okay. and has a rhythm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Suitcases down there. Yeah, yeah. These are normally just squares in my paintings like this, but I put a couple handles on it just to, mm -hmm. to kind of go with the moving mm -hmm. thing still. But uh, again, nothing that really jumps at you. Out at you, one one thing. It's something that you kind of have to look at the painting and think about. And you know, when I look at these paintings, I kind of get lost in them, in them for a while. Even though I painted them, I still <laughs> go back and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I did that. Because I'll just, I'll just. If you saw me paint, I'm just like, <laughs> like that everywhere. So lots of times I don't know why, why I did something that I. That's the, the crux of that painting. Um, and then these little squares and the X's. I have a lot of X's in my paintings too. It's just to, to balance it out visually. To pull your eye over there and then back to another spot. Yeah. It really came out nice. But that's going to be more of a, what I'm doing from here on. Here on out, I figure for the next 20 or 30 years with technology, I've got plenty of yeah. <laughs> opportunity and yeah. plenty of things to, because I can make puns with the products or whatever yeah. it is that they're doing. You know, so um, that's just a regular abstract. And this is the other oh, one, yeah. Steve Jobs. This was when he was about to announce the uh, iPhone 4. <laughs> so uh, I phoned you four times just to. <laughs> put I and phone in there and four. And you must have been tinkering in the clouds because that at that time he was developing the, the cloud for for um, Apple. And uh, 
or on a break because he kept taking breaks <laughs> because he was sick. But I started working on this right before he he announced the iPhone 4. And then one night I finished it and I was like, oh, finally, you know, and it, because it took probably probably four or five months to, to keep thinking about it and do it the way that I wanted to do it. And uh, the night that I finished that, I woke up the next morning and he had died that same night that I finished it. Mm -hmm. It was really oh. creepy. I was like, you know, being up in the clouds and yeah. tinkering around, it really took on another meaning. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, but that's... Uh, which is why that's probably it. yeah. That's probably yeah. my favorite painting because it was it was just too weird and and, and I had painted the, the Trinity up here for mm -hmm. some reason too and I didn't realize that he was going to die. Wow. <laughs> but it's got a darker it's color. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got, yeah. bright as got some kind of connection, you know. I just really feel a connection to that painting and and during that time I was really like the devouring apple apple stuff. And, That's uh, that's the basics of that one.